I found Rome of clay, I labor to you of marble, said Caesar Augustus or Octavian, who became the first emperor of Rome after the death of Julius Caesar. He was one of the most influential leaders in the world's history as he laid the foundations of the Roman Empire that lasted in various forms for nearly 1500 years and left a profound legacy on Western civilization. The reign of Augustus initiated an era of relative peace known as Pax Romana that lasted for more than two centuries. His shrewd combination of military might, institution building and law making made him one of the most greatest emperors of Rome. Augustus was born in the city of Rome on 23rd September 63 BC. His father Gost Octavius was the governor of Macedonia and his mother Attia was the niece of Julius Caesar. As he grew young, he began to involve himself in the politics of Rome. Soon he wished to join his great uncle Caesar in the battle who was in Hispania, modern day Spain. He was shipwrecked and had to cross enemy territory in order to reach his great uncle. This act impressed Caesar so much as he had no son, he made Octavian the higher of his name and fortune. Octavius was at Apollonia when he heard the news of Caesar's assassination and his will in which he was declared Octavius as his hire. He immediately returned to Rome and began to amass the political support in the Roman Senate as well as military support of Caesar's legions. He soon forged a formidable power in the city and was elected as consul. But Mark Antony claimed to be a better substitute of deceased Julius Caesar. After Antony's troops were defeated in northern Italy by Augustus, both of them agreed to a truce. In 43 BC, Octavian Antony and a powerful Roman Lepidus established the Second Triumvirate. That was a powerful sharing agreement according to which Octavian would keep the West, Antony the East and Lepidus Africa. Eventually, the three of them started to fight in order to increase their power. Lepidus was defeated and his troops came over the side of Octavian. Antony began a romantic political alliance with Cleopatra, the queen of Egypt, and finally he divorced Octavia, the sister of Octavian. In retaliation, Octavian declared war on Cleopatra. A year later, Augustus' fleet, under the leadership of one of his best generals, Agrippa, defeated the combined fleet of Antony and Cleopatra at the naval battle of Actium. Upon their defeat, the two lovers, Antony and Cleopatra, committed suicide that made Augustus Rome's undisputed ruler. Augustus Caesar died in 14 AD and his contribution stood witness to his last reported words, which were, I found Rome of clay, I leave it to you of marble. During his 40 years reign, Augustus nearly doubled the size of his empire. He expanded the network of roads and improved the system of taxations. He founded Praetorian Guard and other departments like Roman Postal Service, Police and Fire Departments.